All right, I have a surprise for you today. The suggestion was by Branken2 and Magic. Huskarls, veterans, veterans, and sword sisters. We have trained off screen. If this is something you hate, there are recordings on my Twitch page, but the crappy commentary, and yeah, you probably don't want to go watch them because they're crap. Uh, anyway, we have a pretty damn nice army right now trained up. Also, I believe I recruited Behester during those uh, Twitch recordings. So there we go, another hero. And yeah, I don't know if he actually has anything useful. I was planning on just making him like a tough warrior. Not really giving him any sort of helpful skills. Let's see if we're still at war here with... Swadians. I was kind of tired of losing as well, so it's a good suggestion. <clears throat> and we hope that it'll make a difference. I'll try to do the fast forwarding sort of in spurts, so I can't just get ambushed and crap. Also, our weekly wages have shot through the roof. Uh, it's 1767 and we make 5100, or we have 5153. Something we'll need to be careful with. And if I do manage to get a little richer, I want to get more productive enterprises and things like that. The crappy thing is, you know, me fighting this castle and losing, well, I weakened it and Nords took it over without me. So, Swadians are sort of scattered around the map and I hope that maybe one of their castles is left behind kind of weak. Because... Well, how many videos have I wanted a castle for? Plenty! And it's really gotta happen. But yeah, some people were kind of sick of the losing. So I'm gonna try and uh, pick my battles more carefully. So we don't fail as hard. The thing is, the primary income I really have is villages. Because tournaments are just really slow. And... Um, it's hard to rate them because most of the Swadian parties right now are pretty big because, well, there's so few of them left. So they all clump up in... Ooh, looky here. That could be a very interesting battle indeed. Oh, no, that's a harsh battle. Don't want none of that. Let's see if we can help this guy with looters. I know that's only four looters, but he'll, um, he'll appreciate me for it and I'll get some points with him and... If I need something from him in the future, I'm more likely to get it, so... <clears throat> I always go out of my way to help these lords here. Four loot shouldn't take more than a second. Stupid river in the way. Alright. Should be able to slash them down without any problem. I think they're using daggers, so he can't even block me here. Hope I can kill all four of them before they do. Yep, there we go. Perfect. All the XP is mine. The Sword Sisters in most battles, I'm probably gonna make them hold position at the beginning. And then once I get to the part where the enemy runs away, I'll uh, use them to, you know, kill the remaining running enemies. Because they're hard for my other troops to catch. If I can get more... Sword Sisters, that'd be perfect. They're like upgraded female peasants or whatever. I'm not sure what they're called. But yeah, they're the only plate-wearing unit in the game. <clears throat> Besides maybe other lords. Let's see. I'm gonna carefully explore out here. Has to be a weak castle. It just sucks. Well, I think I can walk away during a siege, but I can't walk away while burning and looting a village which is kind of odd but I guess it's only fair because you do get a lot of money from it how's this castle doing a bit closer this is way too close for my comfort uh, at least there don't seem to be a lot of Swadian lords around whatsoever or Swadian really don't know 163. They all seem to be about around 150. But uh, that that's still way too much for what I have here. 
I mean, I have strong troops, and I don't want to ruin that, because... It wasn't fun training them, I tell you that much. It really, really wasn't. Very boring process. I kind of hope we'll go to war with another faction that's a bit easier to take down. If we really can't find anything to do, I'll probably look up more Sea Raider parties, which I fought a lot to level these troops already. I had like a... A few Sea Raider hideouts. I got really lucky with those. And they just kept spawning like groups of 30 to 40 Sea Raiders, which was amazing. But yeah, this seems to be... There's, there really doesn't seem to be anything I can take here. I'm going to probably attempt to raid a village and hope it doesn't go horribly wrong. See if there's a lord in this castle. Count risk with 52. Okay, well, I should be able to safely raid this. Hopefully. I really, really hope so. Because we're going to need to keep doing these kinds of things if we want to afford the army we have. We really don't have a lot of leeway here. Okay, he seems to be staying away from me. Ooh. I'm glad I'm not at war with them. Those would have kicked my ass really, really hard. Alright, good. Could probably also take some of the food of this village. Here we go. Damn, they have a lot of food. It's not going to be worth a lot of money, but... Take it regardless. I can actually take all of it. I wonder where linen would sell the best. Or linen, whatever. I'm just going to run back to Sargoth. I don't want to risk going into an enemy city and getting captured and all that sort of crap. I value the heroes and troops I have right now. 30 looters, 4.4, 5.1. I'm going to take those down. Coming over here. Can't escape. Surrender or die. This should be a really easy battle. Um, Cavalry, hold position. The rest... Wait, no. I should order my infantry and archers separately. Hmm. I should be able to just let them charge. They really shouldn't have an issue surviving against looters. With their armor, all those veterans and such, they might only take like one damage against a club or a knife. Really shouldn't be an issue. Hello, looters! Maybe I could take some pot shots and level my archery. That'd be nice. Still can't one it kill them, but I should be able to once my archery actually goes up a bit. Well, headshots would probably, but you know. I believe as my horse archery go up, I'll actually get my aiming reticule to turn further. Like if I turn to the left, it's it's not disappearing. Normally, it should disappear. Probably, yeah. If I go at speed, it does. But, uh, yeah, that, that gets better and better with horse archery. But I just had to get a few points in inventory management. Because, well, I, my inventory was full of crap all the time. Let's chase this dude down. Over here. Sword in your face. Well, in your back, whatever. As long as it kills you. It doesn't matter where it is to me. Yay. Well, I guess we'll take two sets of boots. That's the most expensive. Did I just miss a set of boots? Darn it. Oh, they're not worth anything anyway. We'll go to Wurcheg instead since we crossed the bridge. There's a party still 78 capped. Alright. Sell our stuff. 230 for a piece of linen cloth. It's totally acceptable. 77. This should keep us going for a while. At least another week. Here we go. This is a hefty profit we're making here. Good god. Um, you go as well. Do I keep the food? Will keep me going for quite a while. And it's not... Yeah, it's selling really cheaply. It's really not worth selling if you ask me. I wish there was a quick sort button that would just move all the items up. And I just have to move the weaponry. Yeah, I'm spoiled. 
There we go. You might think that's lots and lots of food, but trust me, they'll consume it quicker than you think. Too bad the looters didn't have any prisoners. Alright. I'm gonna travel along the coast a bit and see if I can get more of these Sea Raider parties. And if we hit 10k, um, well, let's say 12k for safety, we'll see if we can buy another production thingy. 3.2 in the forest, he's much slower. Should be able to make this easy. See how many there are, it's crazy. 31. I'm gonna go after the 31. I am three points faster than it. Should be able to... I might even be able to get like 60 at a time, which would be beautiful. No, unfortunately, just the 31. But that's fine. Um, I do want my troops to follow me carefully, because cavalry, I want you to dismount. F2, F6, I need to remember that. And then everyone follow me. No, follow. Darn it, I'm derping so hard. I'm going to walk really slowly for a bit so they can do the stand closer order. The archers can hold position. Infantry can continue following me. I hope the horses... Well, they'll, they'll just follow me. That's not a bad thing, necessarily. Okay, give them a charge here. They just need to stick together. That's what's important. Here we go. Should be really easy. See these husk girls just mow through these sea raiders like nobody's business. They're so freaking powerful. It's great. I've got a serious army here right now. I still want to take out the Vagirs because their archers kick ass. I really want their archers. Although I wouldn't complain with like Rodok archers or something. But uh, the reason I prefer Vagir ones is because I do leave, always leave them in the back so the shields wouldn't be that great. They probably have a higher damage output. And uh, when they die, I can pick up their bags of arrows because I use a normal bow as well, which I couldn't if a Rodok unit died. Because I don't have a crossbow. Don't use bolts. Four Sea Raiders, nice. There's at least 200 bucks right there. If not more, 37 force is useless, but it sells pretty well. So we're definitely going to take that with us. Let's see. Take these. Take these. The rest is probably really not worth it. Well, why not? I mean, what do we have to lose? We can probably just sell it here because we never did anything to the Kurgids yet. We should be completely safe to fast travel in this area as well. Oh god, ambush. Yeah, not gonna happen, bro. Coming over here. Lower your shield before he gets here. Yeah, no chance. I don't like the stabby attack. It never seems to work at close range. That's why I sometimes prefer sabers and stuff, because they don't have a stabby attack at all. You don't stand a chance. See what I mean? The stab... Oh. Well, okay. I guess it works sometimes. It's just not very efficient. 27 at 3.1. 3.2 right here. Oh, another Sea Raiders landing. Interesting. Well, let's catch them first. Because I think they'll all just scatter. Ooh, there's a 33 right there that I can fight afterwards. This is going great. Gonna get quite some XP here. I really, I still have a bunch of, um, can I see, no, I can't see my troops, I don't think, while in battle. But I still have a bunch of troops that are not maxed out yet, they're like the second last rank. I believe Nord Warriors or Nord Veteran Warriors or something. If I can get all those to become Huskarls, that'd be fantastic as hell. Then I'd be unstoppable. Oh. Be careful. Stand closer, guys. I don't like how spread out you are right now. It's not what we Nords are all about. The archers can hold their position. Infantry charge. We're close enough right now. Don't let them get to the archers. 
Even if they do, the archer should be clumped up and he should be able to take out a few dudes without taking any damage. What kind of armor do my archers actually have? Yeah, that's... Well, I guess that's Sea Raider equivalent. Should be about 35 chest, maybe 5 to 10 leg armor. I'm guessing. There she goes. Cavalry, no charge. Because these guys are all chasing that dude and can't catch up. Now hopefully they'll cut him down before he reaches the edge of the map. That's what I'm talking about! That's why I need a few horses. Oh. I fail derped. There we go. Solid kills. This feels a lot better than losing. I admit it.